Stop looking dull. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and this is the show where you could ask me any question you've got from the world of tech. Can't understand what's going on with Samsung and Apple. Don't know when the next Galaxy device is going to come. Not sure what device you should upgrade to or what tablet deserves a space in your backpack. This is the show you can ask. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. Finn Rocks JT wants to ask, what are your thoughts about the next Nexus devices from Google? Well, that's a great question. For those of you guys that don't know what Nexus devices are, they're pure Google experiences. These are phones that Google oversees, and they're pretty much used as reference hardware for the current generation operating system. The Galaxy Nexus was the reference hardware for Ice Cream Sandwich, and then became the same reference hardware for Jelly Bean. Previously, we've only had one Nexus device. I think, though, that we might see multiple Nexus devices. This would be Nexi, like Prius, plural Prius is Prii. Next eye. The prevailing rumor is that we'll see it from a variety of manufacturers, five to be exact. So what's the benefit to getting a Google Nexus branded device? In addition to having a pure Android experience unskinned, you also are pretty much guaranteed to get the next operating system upgrade. The existing Nexus device, the Galaxy Nexus, hardware-wise, getting a little long in the tooth. So I think we'll see something new probably in the next six months. Hopefully that helps answer your question. User Sam Pillsbury wants to talk about. Hi, John, do you think that the new iPhone or iPhone 5 will have the same design characteristics like the iPhone 4 and 4S? Also, do you think Apple will incorporate liquid metal into the design? So Sam, I'm not sure of many things in this world. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be alive tomorrow. I'm not sure what the weather's gonna be. I can't always figure out what women are thinking. One thing I am sure about, the iPhone 5, whatever they decide to call it, next generation iPhone, will not look like the iPhone 4. Now, it might have a home button, it might have a screen, it might have a speaker grill, but it's not gonna look like what we've known the iPhone to be for the past two generations. Gone is gonna be that 3.5 inch screen that we've had since 2007, which just looks tiny. What we're gonna have replacing it is a 16 by nine, four inch screen with a retina display. On the bottom, we're not gonna have that 30 pin connector anymore. We're gonna have a much smaller pin connector. The rumor today actually is that it might be eight pin and it might work either direction. So you can plug it in one way or the other. You don't have to look and make sure you got the little logo and we'll see a redesigned back, which may actually include liquid metal. Provides better distribution of heat. Also provides better antenna penetration, which is always a fun word to say. Uh, and should make the phone look and feel actually very cool. Rafa964 asked, John, how do you think this case between Samsung and Apple will end? Well, it's not gonna end well for somebody. So let me give you guys a quick brief synopsis of what's going on. Apple is trying to defend its patents. Whether or not those patents should have been issued or not, it's another discussion, but they do own the patents. There are three in particular. One is how screen rotations are handled. One is sort of a kinetic movement when you scroll from side to side. And another one has to do with multi-touch. And there's a fourth rather design patent as well. That's sort of up in the air. Samsung is claiming that Apple infringed on some of its wireless patents, how it uses 3G radio and some other technical mumbo jumbo. So what does this mean? Well, if Apple wins, they're looking for 2.5 billion dollars in damages and will halt sales in the US of pretty much all Samsung devices, including the Galaxy S3, possibly still the Galaxy Nexus, and certainly the Galaxy Tab series of devices. If Samsung wins their side of the battle, they're looking for about 2.4% of every iDevice that's being sold. So that's iPod Touch, iPad. Do I think it's a gratuitous lawsuit? Yes, I absolutely do. But Apple 100% has the right to defend their patents, which they do own and were issued. What I think the outcome is going to be, I do think we're going to see a settlement. I think it's gonna involve a software tweak to Samsung's phones and probably to Android as a whole, uh, but I do not think we're gonna see any Samsung devices stop being sold in the US. So regardless of who comes out on top, you and I, we're gonna lose in this battle. Uh, anytime uh, court cases like this come down to consumer wallets, we always end up on the bottom. So any of you guys hopefully watch some of my videos and you see my awesome sense of fashion. If you want to get clothes and you want to always look like you're on the cutting edge, if you don't want to pay cutting edge prices, check out our friends at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, Stussy, but ain't wasting all your hard earned cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain. There's a waitlist to join, but if you head on over to jackthreads.com techno, you'll get instant access right now. So it's jackthreads.com techno. 
you're probably gonna buy the clothes anyway, you might as well save 80%. Share your support for us Techno Buffalo and you get some new duds while you're at it. So be sure to check out Jack Threads. Jessica Anastasio asks, John, I'm excited for the new iPhone, but very bored with iOS. Do you think Apple will announce more features with the announcement of the new iPhone? Jessica, yes, I absolutely do. And I hear you. I love the iPhone hardware. I love the way it feels, but I'm also bored with the operating system. I think we're going to see a ton of new features unveiled and unearthed when we get the new iPhone hardware. Chief among them, NFC. I think we're going to see a mobile payment system finally being introduced from Apple. We're also hearing rumors that we might get some sort of Bluetooth connectivity from device to device. I still hope that we haven't seen the end of what Apple is going to do with Notification Center. I'm still hoping that maybe we'll get some more widgets in there and a better way to view information at a glance. As far as other killer features, that has yet to be seen. I would definitely take a look at the feature list of iOS 6 and see if you can live with it. If you can't, there's some great alternatives out there. Windows Phone 8 is just around the corner, and Android Jelly Bean is my daily driver and has really been a rock star for me. So other alternatives to take a look at if you're not happy with what Apple unveiled with iOS 6 and the new iPhone or iPhone 5 or iPhone 6, 5S. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news, rumors, reports, and other miscellaneous nerdery. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.